In this video, we will learn how to delete the data from database. As you can see before, in the last video, we will we discuss about how to save the data. And the next video is how to retrieve or to search data from database. Now, I just want to show you how to delete the data using web application form. Okay? Let's go. As you can see here, this is the, the design that we are, uh, we are using. Now, if you want to delete, I will use this delete button. Okay. When you click this one, automatic, the data will delete into database. Okay. What is the code? Okay. Before you code, the first thing to do, the first thing you need to do is to create stored procedure. Because stored procedure, this is the function in the database to get the data, which is select, to delete, which is delete, to search, which is select, and insert, which is save the data. So all transactions or all the methods that need to execute data from database we are using stored procedure. Okay, so now we will create a stored procedure to delete the data. Okay, as you can see, we have already two stored procedure here. Okay, we will create new one for delete data. So I will select and then delete and create from scratch. Create procedure dbo dot delete data as begin and what is the parameter parameter what you are going to delete it is the data which is the unique id is student id i will put here 20 okay then take note using delete keyword in database is very uh, uh, what you call this one it's very sensitive you need to be careful of using this word delete okay delete from database okay we'll drag this one where student id will be student why I use student ID always? Because student ID is a unique key. Once this is the unique or primary key, this is the good variable or good fields to use when you are going to search and delete data. Use the unique number or unique uh, field. Okay? Execute. Change this one to alter. Okay. Execute again. We are already successfully completed. Now, go back to the form. I will double click this one. We use try. Okay. Why you are using try catch uh, code? What's the use of these three column? or three braces first here in the try this is the code that need to be executed okay you will put here all the codes that you need to be executed transaction here in the catch if there is error in this in here in this try code automatic it will come here in the catch 
place. Catch means catching the error. If there is error, it will the program will come here and you will see the uh, what is the error. Okay. And then finally, it's always executed when the program is running. Finally means the final executed by the system. So that's why I use finally so that I will put here the close. I will use mclsda.de close. So that the connection will be close. Here, at the top, we are using mclsda.connect. MCLSD is the object which is used to get all the methods in the classes connection. Okay. MCLSDE.add parameter. We'll put here a student ID. Make sure this one is the same spelling in your stored procedure. That's why you need to copy that one. Okay. Comma. What is the parameter value? txt student ID. Now, execute the delete mclsd that execute non query. Then command sq command type then start procedure. What we are going to put here the the name of the stored procedure. Copy and paste. Finish. The code is finished. Now, I will go back to the form. There is a message here. Okay, I will put here a red, red uh, color. Okay. Once delete, there is a message here. Successfully deleted. Okay, go back to the code. We'll put here LBL message that text is equal to uh, data is successfully deleted. Put here true. Now we will try. Before you delete, make sure there is data here. So you need to search the data here for example 001. This is the 001. 002. This is the data for 002. I want to delete this uh, student which is 002, Juan de la Cruz, and here is 3. I want to delete this one. If you click delete, the data is successfully deleted. Now, we will check in the table. Right click. Uh, edit 200 rows. As you can see here, the 002 is deleted. Now, I want to add again. You click the save because the data is still here. So, you need to click save. Successfully saved. We will see here. It's here. Okay. How to search? 001. Okay. 002. Okay. Next is delete. I want to delete again. Data is successfully deleted. We will check here. Execute SQL. As you can see here, it's deleted. Now I will, it's already there, I will see. So, I hope you can enjoy the video, learn and share the video so that more programmers will benefit on this video. Thank you for your watching.